Do you ever wonder if all scouring pads are the same? So let's go into the kitchen because we're going to test out these two scouring pads. So this is SOS versus Boost. This is my oven door and as you can see it's very dirty. We have a lot of splatter on this door and a lot of spatter. You guys know the difference, right? Splatter is wet stuff and spatter is the more dry stuff. So I'm starting with the SOS pad and I got it a little bit wet. And I'm just going to scour this one section using a lot of elbow grease because it's not just the film that's on top of everything, it's the actual little spots that's on the glass that, you know, have a lot of trouble to come off. Now this has been left like this for one month. Usually I'll do the oven cleaning thing, you know, the self-cleaning, but it doesn't get the door. You know, it only gets the inside. So this is why I have to always come and do this extra work. And let's see guys, mm, it got off quite a bit of the film but I can still see the little spots. So now let's try the boost on another section of the door. So I'm gonna go just a little bit left of what I just did. Let me get it wet. And now I'm gonna scour. And I'm applying the same amount of elbow grease that I did when I used the SOS pad. So the same amount of pressure as I scour. I can see the little spots coming up so it's a little bit better than the SOS so far. I think nothing feels better than when you have your stuff clean and in order, right? I don't know why the light keeps coming on and off like this. There must be some type of a short. I've had issues with this range ever since I bought it and it was brand new. Alright, so that's enough. Let's wipe it. So I can see a little bit difference in the two spots. See, it's a little more dingy on the side for the SOS side. You know guys, what I'm gonna do is tape off a piece of the left hand side of the door with this blue tape and do the test again. So on this side, we're doing the SOS pad again. We couldn't really see really well the difference between the SOS and the boost on that side of the door because I didn't have it taped off. So now I'm just doing the same thing. The SOS pad is a little bit wet and I'm just scarring very deeply while holding the door with my left hand because I don't want the hinges to break. Alright, so this is the SOS side. Let's do the boost. You know what, it's a little bit too dry. Let me go ahead and stop and get it wet with a little bit of water. And now we're back. All right, it's going a little bit more smoothly. Get into these corners. I don't know if I can use like the oven off on the door of the oven and plus I don't really use that stuff because it smells so awful. Let me wipe it up and let's see guys. Yeah, I think this is looking a lot better than the opposite side. Hmm. What do you guys think? Boost on the left, SOS on the right. Now I'm going to go ahead and clean up the SOS side with the boost and see if I can get it to match what I'm seeing on the left. Yeah, it's coming. Those little spatters are definitely coming off. So I think the easiest thing to do is just sit on a chair and do this when you want to clean your oven door. Better angle, right? Now let's remove our tape. See what was there, guys? Film and grunge and dinge. So I may as well just go ahead and clean the whole door with the boost. No use leaving the job undone or half done. So I'm just gonna go ahead and scour the whole thing and then go ahead and wipe it off. And I'll take a look at this shot right here. 
one lane is the boost, one lane is the SOS. And now I'm going to have to go look up to see where we can buy the boost. Because I don't see it in the regular stores. And the winner is... Ding, 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 boost. Now I went to go look to see where we could buy this because I got this from my friend Jessica and her grandma had it. Her grandma's been dead three years. So I'm like, this must be real old. But I saw that you can get it like at the dollar stores and the 99 cent stores and stuff like that. So I'm going to be buying this one because it says here, compare to SOS steel wool soap pads. Compare to that, meaning it should be built the same way. But this didn't work. This didn't work. I, I had to put like a lot of elbow grease in this and the stuff still wasn't coming off. So I ended up using this and it was a lot easier. Now for the rest of the oven, I'm just going to turn on the self-cleaning thing. And the door now is beautiful and spiffy. And I left it like that for almost like a little bit over three weeks. And people cooked in it and it spattered and stuff. And so there you go. All right. So this one won hands down. I hope this helps you. Uh, like if you like the video and share it for me, please. And I'll see you guys again really soon with another review. Bye. And oh, subscribe. <laughs>